Hi Capricorn, welcome to my um, channel and my space. If you are new, my name is Raquel, and if you are returning, thank you so much for all of your support. I very much appreciate it, and thank you for coming back to watch another video of mine. Um, I'm doing something new on my channel this uh, month. I'm going to be giving out monthly, or not monthly, um, weekly, <laughs> weekly um forecast for each zodiac sign i know a lot of other channels already do that um but my bi-weeklies um spirits have been saying that i should you know put myself out there more add more content so that's what i'm doing <laughs> so my weeklies will go from saturday until friday so from the first until the seventh will be this one um, and I'm going to try to put it out either Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, somewhere in that time window. All right. Okay. So <laughs> without much further ado, let's talk about what this one is about. So on February 2nd here in America, we have this thing called Groundhog Day. I don't know if they celebrate it everywhere else. Essentially, we as Americans all um, put our faith in whether this groundhog is going to run back into his hole or not. And that, <laughs> that lets us know if there's going to be more winter or um, if the spring is going to come early. Well, in pagan tradition, um, this is symbolic. And I don't think it has anything to do with the groundhog. I'm not sure. Didn't really study symbolic too much. Um, I'm just now learning it so but um it's all about clearing out residual energy so any energy that is left over from 2019 that we have carried in to january all that residual energy it's about cleansing it it's about clearing it away so that we can have fresh new energy coming in for 2020 all right um if you take that date and you do 0, 2, 0, 2, 2, 0, 2, 0, um, if you write the date down, then you will see it's like mirror image, right? And that is, like I say on my channel, so as above, so below, as within, so without, right? So that being said, <laughs> mirror energy, um, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're going through, you know, on, on Sunday, you want to make sure it's good. You want to make sure you're putting out positive intentions towards the universe. So that way you can reap positive reward as you go through this year. So make sure your positivity is on point on Sunday. Um, also, you might want to go within, meditate a little bit, um, so that you can set the right intention, so you can be clear about what you want. Um, I did post in the description box below two channels that I watch here on YouTube for meditation, and they're my favorite too, so I put them in the description box below if you want to check them out. All right, so let's get into it. Let's see, Capricorn. What is your energy? Wow. You know who else got that one? Libra Day. All right. So we got the thinking woman. You're going to be strategizing. And it does not surprise me, Capricorn, because you are kind of a workaholic, right? Thinking, analyzing, seeing how best you can go into the future. Some of you might be considering going back to school for a certain job or a certain position. Um, but it's really strategizing about how you want this next year to go, what you want to accomplish, what goals you want to you wanna hit. Um, you might be doing some research on certain things that you would like to um, partake in or do this year. Something that can further advance you. Or you might be getting um, a mentor or something like that to help you out with that. All right. So there's always shadow energy around this. And, and I think Capricorn, you know, as well as Scorpio does, that there's always the negative around us. It's something we have to deal with all the time. Um, nobody's always happy. If you are, you're kind of weird. Um, <laughs> but um so it helps to know what shadow energy is around, so that way we can deal with it better. So let's see 
what shadow energy you're going to be dealing with this next week. We're all got it. We all got shadow energy. Fragmentation. Okay, so something something has fragmented you or something has fragmented you in the past or is about to fragment you. Okay, it's about putting those pieces back together. I feel this is heavily something fragmented you in the past, some type of pain. It just burst you apart and it's like you're just walking through life now. It's like you're not fully all put back together. Or there's somebody that's going to come along. For some of you, there's somebody that's going to come along that's going to try to break you down is what I'm getting. Somebody's going to try to break you down. Two and seven is nine. So this is just like a next step into coming into your own here. But I've got two sevens here. So I want to see how this plays out. But you might definitely want to look up 77. Um, so just like I said, with the shadow energy, there's always shadow energy around. There's always light energy around too. So let's see what light energy is around you. What angel you can call on to help you out. Um, what energy you, you have that can help you out of this situation. So what light energy is around Capricorn? You got two. So apparently you need double protection. All right. So what do we got here? We've got Michael. I am present. Woo! This is a powerful card. You are coming out as somebody that cannot be broken down, somebody <laughs> that is like you are a force to be reckoned with. I got a huge rush with this, okay? And I'll tell you what, this archangel is not an archangel you want to mess with. This archangel is a protector, okay? This guy is a badass, all right? So, um, I am presence right there. It's you standing up, you holding bold, you holding firm. Oh my God. So I feel like whoever comes and tries to fragment you, mm -mm, it's not rattling your cage. Forgiveness, Jophiel. Jophiel, forgiveness. So you might have to forgive somebody. You might have to forgive somebody. So I am presence and forgiveness. It's like this person comes along and tries to rattle you and you're like, nope, not working, not working. I forgive you, not working. And they're like, I, 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 I see them becoming confused over it. Yeah, because you're, you're worrying about your plane. You're not worrying about what they're doing. You're not worrying about what they're doing. They're trying to rattle your cage. They can't rattle your cage. I feel like they're coming around and asking for forgiveness, though. I do feel like it's either they're coming back and asking for forgiveness or you ask for forgiveness for them. But with the I am presence there, I feel like it's I feel like it's them coming in asking for forgiveness. It's like they try to rattle you, but because of the of the aura that you're putting out because of the unshakable, you're showing that you're unshakable, they instantly regret trying to rattle you and they instantly want you to forgive them. Um, take that how you want it, but that's how I see it. All right, so let's get some additional information for you, Capricorn. What additional information do we have for Capricorn? Alchemy. We got spells. All right. That's a little confusing. Somebody trying to do voodoo against you? You're trying to do voodoo against somebody else. Foresight. Oh. Okay. So this person that's trying to break you down, I feel like they're trying whatever way. Whatever way. I feel like this is the other person, the fragmentation. They're trying any way to rattle your cage, any way to break you down, any way. 
spells and alchemy. I feel like they're trying to do that against you. But it's like, nope, I have protection of Michael. You have protection of Archangel Michael. So they're not going to be able to do that. And it, and it looks like you got the foresight on that anyway. You know they're coming anyway. You know what they're trying to do. You know they're trying to rattle your cage. And it's, and it's like, nope, I'm too smart for that. I'm too smart for, for that. Already been there. Already done that. I'm too smart for that. I'm protected by Michael. I am presence. And it's like, whoa, they instantly back off. Dude, you are coming in strong as hell. All right. So Capricorn. Wow, I hope I hope I hope this like reaches many Capricorns. So this is an awesome reading, dude. It's like somebody's trying to break you down and you are just like not having it. Not having it. You're not even giving them the time of day. You got your back turned toward them. Like, nope. So let's see what this is about. And, you know, with the tea leaves with foresight and then with the colors there with the crown chakra. Yeah. And then, you know, you have the power for forgiveness here. It could be somebody that you have forgiven in the past that's coming back and trying to rattle your cage. Just to let you know that. All right. So one more shuffle. And then I'll cut for you, Capricorn. Right. Let's see what this is about. Um, bottom of the deck, Queen of Cups. See, you are in charge of your emotion. You're very in with your intuition. This coming out with foresight and I am presence and that crown chakra. Dude, I'm seeing every chakra on here. It's like you are balanced, man. You are in your element, dude. Um, but yeah, you're really on top of your intuition. And it's like, I ain't taking that crap. Um. But you need to, you, there's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make here. There is going to be a decision that you're going to have to make here. And you might have to choose to let somebody who is of a combative nature, that person who's trying to fragment you, go. But I do see that you're having a hard time doing it. Um, you need to tap into that intuition because your intuition is strong here. Um, you need to have patience and go forward. Um, you know, just leap right into it because you are on your path. You are on the right direction. You are answering your calling. You don't need anybody to rattle you. All right. If this person is competitive and they always come at you and they're always trying to rattle your cage, maybe you should just cut them off. I don't know. Use your own intuition here to make this decision. All right. Because it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. The Queen of Cups, she, she's very good with intuition. So, yeah, you need to get rid of somebody who is trying to fragment you. Don't keep holding on to them. You need to get rid of them. All right. But, like I said, use your own intuition on that. We've got five of cups, so there has been pain in the past. And this person is grieving. I feel like this person doesn't think that you would forgive them or have forgiven them. But they're no good. They're toxic. I'm getting toxic off of this. And it's like they're upset that you moved on. They're upset you moved on without them. And it's like they're trying to rattle you. They're trying to get back. You need to meditate, go within. They need to med meditate and go within um, to, use, to properly access your intuition because your intuition will tell you what decision to make here. Because you want to be happy. You want to be fulfilled. This is what is owed to you. This is what is due to you. Okay. Um, this person who fragmented you, they are in they are in grief. They are feeling sorry for what they did. They really are. But with the spells and alchemy, I don't like that. I feel like they're trying to do some negative juju behind your back. And, you know, they might not even know that they're doing it because just speaking the words or thinking the thought out to the universe over and over and over 
and over again gains momentum, gains speed until it bursts into manifestation. So, um, but you are present and you are protected by Michael here. So just keep doing you, you know, if they come around, offer them the forgiveness, but then cut them out. Say, look, I forgive you, but you're too toxic and you're not good for my happiness. If that's what your intuition tells you. Okay. But that's all I'm getting for that. So let's see what the advice is for you, Capricorn. Well, you've got a lot here. Okay, so we've got harness mystic power. So this is the this is the power that's within you. All right. Just like they have their own spells and alchemy. You know, like I said, it doesn't take much for spells and alchemy. All it takes is intention, is the thought, the repeated thought, okay, the intention. So speaking that out, speaking what you truly want for yourself on Sunday is a good is a good way to um, manifest some good things. Harness, harness your power here. Harness your intuition, okay? We've got the moon coming out with that. Take note of intuitive messages. These two right here. Oh, and then we got the spirit fox. Trust your instincts, okay? So we've got three cards right here, right here, telling you to trust your instincts with this person, all right? Whoever this person is that's trying to fragment you, trust your instincts. That's what I'm calling this. Um, and stargazer, set your sights higher. You are a force to be reckoned with this week, Capricorn. Set your sights higher. Alrighty? Especially when it comes to what you are studying, what you are studying and what you can truly be. Use your intuition. Harness that power. Don't let people try to rattle your cage. Alright? You have this forgiveness inside of you, but you also have this presence, this presence about you, all right? You've come into this presence. It's like people are like, whoa, there's Capricorn. <laughs> like, that's what I'm getting. So hard to say. Well, Capricorn, if that resonated with you, if um, you liked the video, give it two thumbs up. Um, also... Um, you know, if you want to get future content from me or you want to get the weekly uploads from me, please make sure you're subscribed and you hit the little bell. And I wish you the very best for the first week of February. I hope you all have a wonderful one. Bye, Capricorn.